Hey, it's Bart with Bonnie with Board Games. Um, first of all, all my Conan stuff just came in. It was like one of the last ones fulfilled, apparently, probably because I ordered two sets. So, first of all, the box, everything came shipped well, shipped naked, uh, doing well. Um, they had lots of paper in here. Hello. They had little spacers that kept everything right where it should be. Let me move this down here. I did get a little excited, I gotta admit, before I even started uh, thinking about filming, I started ripping off the shrink. So the shrink has been ripped off of all these, but I've only opened this box. So what I'm gonna do is, is just kind of open these real quick as we go, and I'm probably gonna zoom in, but I wanna let you know what I got. So as they ship, there was this box here. Again, this one hasn't even been breached yet. Um, then there were these singles that I purchased and I'm going to go in and zoom in and we'll see what these little minis look like. Bam! And some wolves. And then the standard game, which I just got a chance to actually play at BGG and I really, really liked. Um, along with, cover your eyes if you don't like seeing things that are nearly kind of naked. Um, one of the rule books that Tom Basil doesn't like. So there you go. They don't really show anything. It's more like the form or shape of a woman's body. But let me get the camera up over top of this and we'll look at contents, contents, contents. All right, I'm zoomed up as high as I can go. Whoop. We're going to end up coming through each one of these, but I want to show the core box first. And again, this one I have lift the lit, lifted the lid off as you had seen, but as far as I'd gotten was the rule books and then I realized what am I doing? Do a quick unboxing. So, um, I, I'm just going to rip these. I played this at BGG Con. This is, oh I forget the term, but like the Overlord's turn marker here. Defense and magic skill. Miscellaneous skills. Okay, it's in French on the back side just so you know. So they've got all the movement stuff, all the different attack skills. So these are on the sheets here. As you can see, there's this battle axe, and then what you will see is the battle axe. So um, this will walk you through what each of those attack skills are. And I forget if this gentleman is, it must be like an expansion guy or something. So go through that. We're going to show you these real quick. I can tell you when I played it, um, I played the mage and everything worked really well and was very intuitive and all the pictures really handled what you were doing. This tells you what kind of dice you're rolling, so the color red is more lethal, yellow then is next, and then uh, or orange I mean, and then yellow is the next one. So this is your like melee skill, archer skill, your defense. How quickly you run, this is your default. When you pick up and handle things, um, oh, there's like throwing knives. And then you can do re-rolls that you can spend your actions on. We'll get into this in a later review, but you basically have cubes. Um, when the cubes are over here, you can use them to do different things. As you exhaust them, they go to here. If you take wounds, they permanently move over here, and the only way you can move them back out of that area is if you get some kind of healing. That puts them back here, and then depending on how much you rest or how active you are is the number of cubes you can slide over into your active slot. That's it in a nutshell. So she does have some kind of necklace that's obscuring part of her body. Hello. Um, this guy was being played. He was like a, well, I'm not sure if he was being played. I played that guy right there. He had this cool lightning ability that was great, and he could, like, um, I don't know, teleport himself. We'll get into that when we get into full review. That was the fellow I played. So, just quickly, this is more to show you the art. And back to Conan. Um, I showed you, this is the Hero's Handbook. So the Hero's Handbook uh, tells you just how you're going to run Conan and his buddies. You're going to get into the Overlord's book in a second, which is um, actually a lot harder to do, or a little harder to do. But again, some folks may not like the uh, cover, but it doesn't really show 
Sorry, I bumped the camera. Maybe I got too excited. Doesn't, it's not like overly graphic, at least as far as I am, but yes, I'll, uh, I do have a younger son. I'll probably not going to let him just keep it in his room. Um, so, color, um, glossy pages. Again, this is not a rules overview. This is a quick look at some of the art that is in here, but everything... Again, is a nice layout, visually very appealing. Wait till you see the snake. We had the snake in the demo at BGG. Gorgeous. Overlord's Handbook, thicker. Matter of fact, if you can see, I don't know if it shows, much thicker. Overlord's got some more things going on. All right, but it's the same quality of um, slick pages. It even says what? Extra scenarios. So. Again, not sure. This is my first look through this. I did thumb through the Hero book when I was at BGGCon. So, you know what? The packing reminds me a lot of Zombie Side. I know it's not a cool mini or not game, but you're definitely going to get the feel and see what they use. So, here are the big baddies. This is the snake that we used, and he is awesome. And then this is this weird looking, like, Cthulhu thing. I've never seen it before. And then a lion. The lion almost pales in comparison, and the detail on the lion seems not quite as sharp. Even the color of the plastic, but I think that's because I think he's with the heroes? I'm not sure. It was only it looked a little different, is the detail looks sharper in these guys than it does on the lion. But hey, I'm not a painter, so here. This is supposed to be quick. And they're taped in. Okay, I'm not going to get them out because I'll lose all speed. All right, here's the dice again. More hits, medium hits, less hits. In other words, you're going to roll. Well, you can just see. You're going to have a greater chance of missing things or not doing as much damage. The dice are nice. Custom dice. Very good touch. The cards, again, very zombie side-ish. They're the little, uh, little tiny cards. So, has that feel. I'm sure maybe they use the same printer. These are, I don't think they're all, but maybe they're all of them. Red are when you've got uh, active hits. This is, oh boy, and I didn't play Overlord, but I believe the Overlord has these. I don't know, I can't remember for sure. All right, we will just quickly slide this open. I'm going to try to keep this moving so you can see. We've got uh, two trays in here. It's c 0 no 2 all right, the trays roll out. Let's get that out of the way. And we're going to just scroll through on a scan here. Wow. These look phenomenal. That looks like Conan right there, but I'm not 100% sure. You can see they're a little bit lighter gray, the heroes. There's the little wolf that goes with the gal. And then we get into the darker gray, which are the bad guys. So there's some wolves. I'm going to slide on th by there. Wolves, maybe. That guy looks fierce. Wow. Slide on through. A little bat thing. Maybe got to straighten a couple spears. We'll see. And coming down there. And let me get this top row out of the way. All right. So in between there are some bases. This is the Overlord's tray, which is very cool. Basically, the Overlord's characters are on here, and they slide as they use them. They're more cheaper. They're more cheaper. They're cheaper. Wow, let's keep this as a background. Uh, they are cheaper when they're on your lower left. So here we go. we got a bunch of guys with swords. Let me zoom in. Some kind of stick hatch it kind of thing. We got a bowman. Same guys. So these look like your group baddies. Hopefully the scanning is not too fast and I'm not making you seasick. And then you got a bunch. So these, these like zombie dudes look pretty good. Let me come in on a couple of these since these are repeats. And boom. All right, let's go see what's under here. All right, these are actually card stock, so I'm not going to punch them right now, but you can see, and then these flip over, and 
And having seen this play, these are characters that the Overlord can pull out. When they get to this point, they're, they block up space. And uh, he or she has to do certain things to clear them out of there. Or maybe even heal them or bring them back. So, again, full review later. But just so you can see their color art. And I forget what the Raven does. The Raven was in our game too. So, there's that. And then this final one, again, you can see what these look like. And then, this actually, these go into that plastic insert, and they make the insert look, I mean, like, wickedly alive. I was curious how that was going to work out. Looks like some kind of traps or pits. The maps in this thing are gorgeous and big. So, let me see if I can get this out without causing any major problems. This is a map I played on. These are like huts. Sorry, see we're banging the camera. Let me scan up. So, you can see these are like huts that you're seeing. The only thing that was a little hard is there's hide that covers the doors. Sometimes the doors were real easy to spot. And other times they were a little harder to figure out kind of what was going on. This is a double room. You come in here. There's You can't see into here until you pull this hide away. And then there's another room here. Conan has an interesting action. He can literally bash and tear in and make new holes in walls. Or at least these huts. And I believe this is double-sided. It is, and what a wonderful use. All right, so, let's see if I can come down and show you this. I haven't even seen this map because I haven't played on it yet. Looks like some kind of tavern with a lot of different rooms. We got bare rugs and more different rooms. I would definitely say this is some kind of tavern. There's part of my floor and my tripod, I apologize. So, walls. The dots are showing you line of sight. Um, you do all your line of sight based on can this dot see that dot. And that's how you can determine if characters in that room can see each other. Let me get this out of the way. And I see another map under there. That map is top notch. Um, what the mythic pantheon is going on right now. Or pantheon. I'm sure I said that wrong. Alright, first of all they got these cool little spacers in here. Let me see if I can get this out. And, yes, this will be the last map, and it should be double-sided. They've got this very cool ship-to-ship -ship combat. And so you can see these two sailing ships as if they are grappled up next to each other. Just simply huge. There's my hand for comparison. I have fairly large hands. So you can see the ships are up next to each other. Um, and there is room to battle from ship to ship. I'm sure you're swinging over, or at least I'm imagining pirate type activity. So, you can see that side of it. Again, gorgeous board. Let's flip and see the other side. And this looks more like a castle at night, or maybe an old ruin of a castle. So, we've got our Different towers. Yep, definitely a room because it looks like it's been broken in. And there's a little campfire in the middle. Um, much darker nighttime feel. But again, you can see um, how attractive they are. And these um, map boards have like a linen finish on them. Not sure I can make that show up or not. But they have that linen finish touch and they just look top notch. Let me get these out of the way here. I may even just show these separately. We'll just do this as the base box. I'll come back and do this secondary box that's in there, and then I'll do the individual boxes that are with it. <laughs> 